Hi guys, Brown here. Welcome back to another video here today for part 63 of the F1 career mode here today in Bahrain for what is one of the greatest tracks on the calendar. It's seen some classics over the year 2014 and most recently last year that was classic as well. But into the onto the grid and into the strategy screen. We are going to be starting on the softs, but then going to be going to the mediums and then to another set of the mediums as well. I wanted to go on to another set of the softs, but the softs aren't really lasting that long. So unless we can really kind of look after the tyres in that middle stint, then we're going to have to be going to another set of the mediums. So there's no rain. It's not like Australia. So this is going to be pure race pace. And we'll see kind of what we can do. Hopefully this can be a good race and we can pick up some good points. But let's see where we're starting. This is the grid. So it's a Williams 1-2 with Kimi Raikkonen on pole and Lewis Hamilton P2. P3 and P4. It's very much 2 point. Two by 2 as Verstappen is alongside Charles Leclerc. Sebastian Vettel is P5 and P6 goes to Brown. P7 and P8 are Carlos Sainz and Valtteri Bottas. And on the final row in the top 10 is Nico Hulkenberg and Devon Butler. 11th and 12th is Lance Stroll and Lando Norris. 13th and 14th is Lucas Weber and Pierre Gasly who had a poor qualifying compared to his teammates. P15 and P16 is Antonio Giovinazzi and Roman Grosjean who was one place ahead of his teammate in 17th with Alexander Albon 18th. And on the final of the row of the grid is George Russell and Sergio Perez on his McLaren return. So it's time then to race in Bahrain. Long hold of the lights, but it is lights out, and away we go as they, they dash down into turn one. The two Williams going wheel to wheel, just did two Ferraris as, as well. We're gonna go right to the inside of the track, trying to gain some places down the inside. We've lost out though, we've lost out to Carlos Sainz. We tried to get past the Ferrari and the Alfa Romeo there, but we've ended up losing out. But we're gonna switch to the inside, outside about four times there but we are going to commit to the outside we're going to sail around the outside of Carlos Sides and we are going to retake that P5 in this race P6 in this race headed down into turn whatever it is there two by two at the front as we are trying now to kind of defend and get away from Carlos Sainz and get after the back of the Alpha of Sebastian Vettel but we make a mistake we need it at the back of the Alpha there and now try and get past the German as we head into towards the final sector and into the final sector of this Bahrain Grand Prix circuit as we head into the final straight there before the pit straight on to lap two here comes Carlos Sainz he's not done with us yet to the inside he goes we have to defend to the outside when the camera eventually cuts we do defend around the outside that was an horrendous camera angle but we do get past but he's not done yet there goes Carlos Sainz Carlos Sainz tries again down the inside we defend around the outside yet again and hopefully now we can try to get away I know I say this a lot in my videos but one lap later Carlos Heinz back at us again he's on the outside this time we are going to have to defend to the inside and we do squeeze him out and re retake kind of let's just stay ahead of the Spaniard there and now he's going to be left defending Nico Hulkenberg here in his racing point Hulkenberg going to the inside Bottas trying to go to the inside of Nico Hulkenberg they were briefly free wide there for a second as Hulkenberg tries to defend Bottas around the outside and he does wide the brake pedal down the inside Hulkenberg just about ahead but Valtteri Bottas tries to get him back down the inside the still side by side going on to the tightest part of this Bahrain circuit Nico Hulkenberg does defend for, um, Bottas there goes a little wide and now Bottas goes very wide and he's left defending Devon Butler in the Renault and he's actually lost out to Devon Butler so he tried to gain one there and he's lost one instead now on to lap 4 
down the inside of us yet again goes Carlos Sainz but you kind of would have saw it there he kind of got bumped at the curb and that's cost that's costed him and now he has kind of fallen back from us and now skipping further on the lap on lap four here comes Sebastian Vettel trying to get past um Charles Leclerc down the inside, Charles Leclerc not giving up, but round the outside, Sebastian Vettel's race craft is very much set in stone compared to Charles Leclerc's at this moment in time. So Sebastian Vettel does get past Charles Leclerc, but Charles Leclerc is not going to give up here. He's going to sit back and he's going to wait for a move into turns one. But if he does think about it to the inside, Vettel has to go defensive. That's going to cost him all the way down this straight as... Charles Leclerc on lap 4 does have DRS and it does absolutely blitz that Alfa Romeo there in the background you would have seen us side by side with Carlos Sainz here it is now down the inside we defend Carlos Sainz again but he goes a bit wide and now he's left defending Nico Hulkenberg in the racing point again and now Hulkenberg, where's he going to go? He's going to go to the inside. Carlos Sainz does defend, but now he's going to have to defend to the outside. Side by side they are once again. Carlos Sainz actually on the medium tyres. So he can go a little bit further, but just like Nico Hulkenberg did to Valtteri Bottas, he rides that brake pedal and round the outside, Carlos Sainz looks to have defended him. Hulkenberg's not giving up though, but as they get to the tightest part of the track, he does think better of it, and he does eventually back out to get that place, and we've gone wide again there, but what this has allowed us to do, then battling it hard, is that we've finally got away, and we've got some breathing space to those behind us, Sebastian Vettel re-overtakes Charles Leclerc just two laps later, after Charles Leclerc did get him back. It's all kicking off in the background now you would have seen. As we will cut back in just a second. You can see everyone flooding through. We've gained a bit of time. Carlos Sainz has lost out. He's lost out to um, um, Valtteri Bottas there. And he's very close to losing it. More positions as Lance Stroll and Devon Butler are side by side. This is an amazing camera angle. Side by side they are through the twistiest part of the track. And now... Devin Butler, can he go around the outside or does he chicken out? He does chicken out and he stays behind Lance Stroll there. That's an incredible camera angle, I must say. As they head down and on to, towards the final sector, onto lap 7. And Valtteri Bottas re-overtakes Nico Hulkenberg there. Or... Oh, for the best of things, it does get past Nico Hulkenberg, and now we can get after us. But Hulkenberg is having none of it. One lap later, Hulkenberg re overtakes the Finn for that position, and now Carlos Sainz can iron it up. But on to the end of lap eight, we are going to come into the pits to make our first stop of the night. Of course, as we mentioned earlier, we will be going on to the mediums and just seeing how far they can go in this race i know it's late in the game cycle but the mercedes it looks stunning under the lights in bahrain look at it as it goes down the pit straight but that's not important right now the important thing is where we're going to come out and we haven't come out that far behind the battle between sebastian vettel and charles leclerc on lap 9 now, Carlos Sainz tries to get down the inside of Valtteri Bottas. Let us see if Bottas there double lock up. And, as you, and what you won't see here is Bottas actually go for a gap between two cars just to get into the pits. Fair play Bottas, he likes a gap when he, can, when he can find one. And he does come into the pits. But Alfa Romeo are going very aggressive. They are going to go onto another set of the soft tyres in this race. So they're going aggressive thinking about maybe trying to get their tyres a little bit longer than 9 laps but we'll have to wait and see on to lap 12 here comes Lucas Weber and Kimi Raikkonen down the inside of Carlos Sainz Carlos Sainz though does lead out to Lucas Weber but he is going to fend off Kimi Raikkonen but that Williams far more supreme to the Red Bull he's going to pull out to the inside and Kimi is going to keep his cool keep his Iceman status and stay in front of 
Carlos Sainz going into that corner and to further around the lap Kimi is going to get the job done on Carlos on him. Lucas Weber on to lap 12 now and Carlos Sainz is into the pits to make what is his one and only stop as, he, as Red Bull put him on the hard so he can be sitting very pretty towards the end of this race everyone else think Bottas and us for example we will have to pit again Carlos Sainz can go to the end now so Red Bull and Carlos Sainz are on for some big points here today in this race as he comes out not quite far behind and he only just beats his teammate out there off here Gasly who I believe is on the same strategy as him and on the end of lap 13 Carlos Sainz pulls out to the inside Pete Gasly goes around the outside but what you'll notice is Carlos Sainz is nowhere near racing speeds that's because he had a problem with his engine and he's going to pull over and what could have been the sweetest of sweetest strategies for Carlos Sainz is going to turn into nothing because he is out of the Bahrain Grand Prix as his engine let's go that Honda engine only doing one round one and a half races and it's already gone bang for Red Bull so the new and approved Honda engine that they supposedly had hasn't come to much the safety car is out that is going to lead us to come into the pits we've only been on these tyres what six laps we came in on lap eight so what do we do we're going to go into the mediums the hards I don't really like the hards in Bahrain there's better options so we're just going to have to try and drag out these medium compound tyres as we beat out the Ferrari there of um, Charles Leclerc down the pits and come out of course now this is where the race gets interesting because you'll have those who were trying to do the one stop pit underneath the safety car speeds which obviously means that the pit time which would be about 20 seconds is kind of cut in half as everyone's doing delta times is the racing speeds so we now have some racing to do and we've got to get through as quickly as we can if we want to score some big points Kimi Raikkonen is leading away from Lewis Hamilton the safety car's in at the end of lap 16 Kimi Raikkonen led enough um, races he knows what to do he knows not to mess about but can Kimi get past his teammate first to lead this race as Lewis Hamilton he's done this enough times in his career hasn't he does the restart and now they can chase each other down into turn one in the background we're going to try and think about a move to the inside of of whoever is in front of us and it is La Lando Norris and his McLaren round the outside we defend we try to get past the McLaren we look to have got the job done as everyone flooding through the bottom of your picture there but Lando is not done yet he tries to go to the inside we defend now round the outside of the of the McLaren but Lando we went wide there I tried to do what um, Carlos Sainz did to Hulkenberg and what Hulkenberg did to Valtteri Bottas earlier in, in the race but we just ended up going wide and we have lost out to the McLaren so we're going to have to try again and we can't really afford as there's a double lock up there by the Ferrari of, of um, Max Verstappen but that's not going to borrow Verstappen as Antonio Giovinazzi has had a horrible exit and he's lost out then two positions two I think that's um Sebastian Vettel and then Devon Butler as well by the looks of things and so this has not gone well for Antonio Giovinazzi he just seems to be struggling in that Mercedes Mercedes wanted to get rid of him but after um, as we go down the inside of Kevin Magnussen Mercedes wanted to get rid of him but after Hamilton failed to come to any contract agreement they had no choice but to keep him there as we're going to send it down the inside of K-Mag and now try and get I think that's Alexandra Albon as well but we're going to do very very interesting move we're going to swap Kevin Magnussen the dummy we're going to go to the inside we're going to now drag race Kevin Magnussen down what is this DRS straight Kevin Magnussen 
pulls back out to her inside, but he's actually defending now Lando Norris in his McLaren. Lando Norris trying to go around the outside. He now has the inside line, but Kevin Magnussen does defend around the outside. And he's probably saying some very questionable words underneath that helmet. But we're on the back now of the Toro Rosso of Alexander Albon. But Albon's going for it on our teammate, Antonio Giovinazzi. We're going to try and go down the inside of Giovinazzi. But cheers, Giovinazzi. Just pits us into the apex. It's not like I'm your teammate or anything. But that doesn't matter because we're going to sit in his slipstream. And he's going to let us by. Multi 66.99. I think it is Antonio. Round the outside, Antonio locks up though. And that kind of unsettled me. And Antonio is going to kick the position. We are going to have to go to the outside. We're going to swap in the dummy. We are going to go to the inside. He squeezes us. But we swap him the dummy. Round the outside we go. Of the Italian. And our teammates. And now we can guess after. Alexander Alban in his tour of Rosso. This is an, another look at the restart. So this was... Charles De Clare trying to get past us and then we just kind of swapped in the dummy and managed to get past Lando Norris there as well but of course we ended up losing that position just a few seconds later we're on the back now of Alexander Albon and can we get him very quickly I think we can we're on the outside it's all kicking off in the background as well Antonio Giovinazzi losing more positions in the other Mercedes we get past Alexander Albon there and now we can chase after those in front of us we're on the back now of George Russell this is the battle for 8th place is the it is not like Lance Stroll who should serve further up the road then it is um, Sebastian Vettel just in front of us then it is George Russell and then it is us as we try to go around the outside of George Russell. He defends that. And now we're going to try. He actually like, squeezes us completely off the track there. And we are going to have to kind of set, just sit here for a couple of more laps. It's down the inside. We try again on George Russell, our former teammate, don't forget, from season three at Williams. And now one lap later we're going to try again to the inside but we've locked up we've gone completely off the track and we're going to lose out to George Russell there yet again on lap towards the end of lap 24 here comes Sebastian Vettel on Lance Stroll here this is the battle for seventh place in this race so can he get gone can Sebastian Vettel overtake him and get gone? He's going to go to the inside. Sebastian Vettel on the hard. Didn't realise that. And does get past. Lance Stroll there fairly comfortably in his Alfa Romeo. Now then, this is it. 8th, ninth, and 10th in the battle. We try to go to the inside of George Russell. At least we have a point in this race so far. But we want more. And we're on the back of George Russell. We're going to try and send it again down the inside and this time we finally get the job done on George Russell. I feel like we haven't battled last season. I've battled more. I've battled George Russell more in this race than I had for the entire of season three when he was my teammate. But he's going to come back at us now towards the end of that second DRS and he's going to get us down the inside that switches back to our favour though as we go as it switches back to the inside for us and now to the inside again and then the inside again and we do stay in front of Antonio of um, George Russell there in his Renault but he's he's still fairly close to us so we're probably going to have another go down into turn one he'll have DRS is very close to us and now as the heat rises in in Bahrain, he's going to pull out to the outside and he is going to try and get the job done around the outside of us there and he kind of pinches into the apex as well and that is the job done on us by George Russell but I'm not having that we're going to swap him the dummy which we've done so many times in this race and sail back around the outside of him we're on that 27 so there's only two laps to go in this race and we finally, finally, finally get the job done on George Russell. 
and now we can we'll have two laps to get after Lance Stroll and get that P8 in this race but on lap 27 the two McLarens were battling but now they're not as land as Lando Norris's engine blows it's another Renault engine to blow and Lando's race comes to an end just two laps from the finish this is the final lap of the race now we're right on the back of Lance Stroll are we going to have to settle for P9 or can we get P8 as we go through the tricky part and the tight part of the track probably the best part of the track we're going to send it down the inside of Lance Stroll he tries to squeeze us into the apex we force him a bit wide Lance Stroll's still there. We're going to go around the outside and we're going to do exactly what we did to Kevin Magnussen. Down the inside we get the job done and take what is rightfully a well-deserved P8. In the background though, George Russell's back at it. Down the inside he gets past Lance Stroll and takes that P9 for himself off the Canadians. So it's been a horrendous lap for Lance Stroll. And now heading into the final corner, it's been a well controlled race by the Iceman. He's going to run the final corner and take his first win since the 2018 American Grand Prix, followed home by his teammate Lewis Hamilton. Round the final corner, though, this is going to be the first time Lucas Weber stands on the podium. Here comes in P3, P4 goes to Max Verstappen, P4 goes, P5 goes to Big Gasly, P6 to Kim to Nick Hockenberg, P7 to Sebastian Vettel, P8 goes to West, P9 goes to George Russell, and P10 goes to Lance Stroll. It's a well deserved victory for Williams then after that breathtaking Grand Prix. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. Williams have put in an incredible performance out on the track today. I'm glad all the hard work of theirs has finally paid off. And that is your Bahrain Grand Prix for season for the final Bahrain Grand Prix in this season, in this career. Two retirements, Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris. Shame for that Carlos Sainz, he had a really good strategy on his on his hands and then it just all went apart for him. So um, Lewis Hamilton still leading the championship pick Gasly now bumped up into P2 Kimi Raikkonen though literally one point score one win he's already up into third in the championship we're down there we now have four points with Antonio Giovinazzi still yet to score we're currently seventh in the constructors championship and now it's upgrade time back into the paddock our engine's not great so we're going to do some upgrades on that side and we're also going to do some error upgrades because that's not great either. And also possibly some um, chassis, chassis upgrades. But that seems to be our strongest part of the car, the chassis. So we might leave that and just focus on the aero and the engine side of things. Because there's, no, there's, there's a lot that we need to rebuild in this Mercedes. And... We've got to start somewhere and we've got to kind of do it in the one season that we have. If we want to be challenging the likes of Williams, Red Bull, because although we're still battling with them, we're not quite there to consistently do it. So there are the upgrades. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have and you're excited to see more. And I'll see you in China.